Don't you get it by now? How many times do I have to start each episode off by saying this game fucking sucks? God, last part reminded me of why I hate this game so fucking much. And uh, before I start this obvious... I uh, Here's an elevator shaft that goes on way too fucking long. So if any action gaming trope is to be expected, most elevators... Most long elevators in games mean one of two things. A cutscene, which, you know, would be par for the course for this fucking game, or an enemy ambush out of nowhere with no place for the enemies to possibly hide or spawn from or whatever, but who cares? I'd like to mention that the deleter... Minutes after that fight with Samus, Samus couldn't have just sat there for one hour zoned out and wondering what the fuck happened. The deleter, whether it's uh, James or KG, we don't know yet. Well, I know, but you don't if you haven't played. The deleter, either James or KG, killed the other person minutes later from... And may I mention how jarring it is for the game to be told from a first-person perspective and then have all this omniscient bullshit just thrown in? Just change of perspective for no other reason. I'd like to mention how fast the fucking deleter is to have made that happen. Anyways. We don't seem to have a cutscene, so that means... Oh! We got more super pirates! If there's one thing that I can say that I like about these guys, besides the fact that they had wave beam before I was authorized such a thing, um, if you try and do an overblast on them, they just throw you off like, bitch, please. <laughs> Which, it, it's taken a long time for an enemy to just do that. And they also seem to like to take the melee swipes at you, which is a nice variety. But anyways... While under normal gaming circumstances, that barrage of lasers that just came my way would be an issue, I mean, there were like 12 lasers coming in different directions. Uh, again, it's kind of cheesed by the sense move. Go figure. Are you even surprised at this point? Because I'm certainly not. Button mash, sense move, charge beam, and... It's not over yet. Because now we have a special enemy coming. This cheese dick is named uh, Redogian or something like that. I don't remember what the hell his name is. This is like a mini rival that Samus will encounter over the next hour or so of gameplay. Well, maybe more like half hour of gameplay. I don't know. You'll fight this guy four times. And every time, it, you know, it's really easy, as it always is. He kind of reminds me of the, um, the Super Pirates. Well, not the Super Pirates, uh, the, um, the Electric Jetpack Pirates. He kind of attacks the same way, and I didn't see him go for his little eye glowy move. Well, whatever. We'll see him more times to demonstrate what I was talking about. Um, and I'd like to mention that that door was locked. Um... Even though the elevator got to the top, the door was locked until the Redogian went away. I... Why? It, it, it's like this game's MO. Every fucking three rooms is to lock the door. For whatever reason, I don't know. But every couple of rooms, the doors lock. And it's either... Y you have some kind of... Uh, uh, usually mandatory entities. Um a boss fight, or every now and then, just to remind you that it's a game, you get a couple of easy puzzles to solve to unlock the door. Usually it's just hitting one of those stupid red terminals. But anyways, this is a nice little puzzle. Um, the wave beam cannot shoot through something that you cannot see in this game. And so these glass tubes were filled with oblique black shit. Um... So you couldn't shoot through it, now you can. Or maybe you could have shot through it, but you couldn't see what you were targeting, or I don't know exactly how it works. But... <sighs> if 
first things first. I really like this. Um, this little morph ball area where you're kind of outside of the main area of the space station. It it needs more areas like this to kind of get you in tune with the architecture of this place. It could use more areas like this, but as if the full or the the big giant circle hadn't come full circle, here we are, right back. One big mother fucking circle. And again, this right here is where the deleter was, where I fought the deleter. The deleter in three minutes, you're gonna tell me that with Samus' speed booster, in three minutes the deleter went from here all the fucking way down to here, and then into sector three to kill the other nobody. Really? You're gonna tell me that? Fuck off, game! And again, I kind of have to... I know Metroid Fusion did this too. But at least Fusion tried to start you off in... in I mean, it started with Sector 1, then Sector 2, and then Sector 4, and then Sector 3, and then Sector 6, then Sector 5. But this game has three sectors. It doesn't have much of a sequence to fuck up. I know, I know, really nitpicky. It, it, uh. But we go from 1 to 3 to 2, and then back to 3! The simulated desert area. Yeah, nice. So, there's your proof right there that this place completely rips off PYR. Now this, this is bullshit! Why in the fuck is the door locked? Why is the door locked? You know, it would be one thing if the narrative tried to explain it that the deleter had locked the door to try and impede Samus's progress. But the narrative doesn't even have that kind of creativity. Because now we have to go back and unlock this. There's not a fucking item to acquire on the way. There, There's nothing to, to justify this besides a couple of shine sparks. That's it. Anyways, the problem that I have with this game, amongst many, many others, trust me, is the fact that... Do, do I even have to explain this? When you acquire a new item in Metroid, it opens up areas to explore. Not in this game! It opens up new plot to explore in this game! Because there was an area in the biosphere with the wave beam. I could have gone to that area and seen what I had unlocked. This is how Metroid works. You can either advance the game normally or you can go back to some other areas. And I, I don't know done something productive and, and it found some expansions to pick up. You can't do that! All of your free exploration in this game is non-existent until a certain point. If I wanted a game to hold me by the hand and let the plot take over, I would play a motherfucking RPG. Sure as shit not a Metroid game! And again, I'm reminding you, there is no reason None whatsoever for me to be going in this. None. And I'm going to get a shine spark started right now, or a speed boost started right now, because I know there is an interesting area coming up. Shine spark, yeah, baby! Anyways, um, there's no point to this. The game gives me no reason why the door is locked. Oh, it's just locked. Go back to this area from before and fall into the lava as you short your shine spark. Whatever. There's no reason for me to do this besides the game being like, well, let's pad it with another pointless fucking circle. This time we're not even going to give you an item in that circle. We're going to put... I, I dodged out of your fucking quick time event. I was holding the... Oh, you dick. Fucking hell. 
Just when you think you've got the answers to this game, it changes the motherfucking questions. Piss off. I'll pull your goddamn head out. Christ. Anyways, this is the panel. To unlock the door near the elevator. Isn't this fun? Isn't this great? Isn't this fucking dandy? I hate you, game. I went on a pointless endeavor. There, there is nothing else to describe it. It was pointless. The very definition of pointless. Tedium. Defenders of this game, please, again, continue to try and refute something that I have said so far. Whether it's the game's disturbing lack of a soundtrack, the blatant plot railroading, the plot that it's railroading you on sucking ass, the presentation of said plot sucking ass... Uh, exploration, I mean, even fusion, as linear as fuck as fusion was... Once you had been to a sector for the first time, you could go back to it and collect what you had m missed out on. That's the truth, okay? Just saying. Now, mind you, there were quite a bit of things that you would need the screw attack for, and by that point, it was the end game already, but... Uh, uh, did, did the game Infusion send you on pointless little circles? And, and there are some people who are insane enough to suggest that Fusion was a worse game than Other M. Need I remind you that Fusion gave you the fucking SAX, which while it was a stupidly AI-based enemy and had no real challenge to it once you actually fought it, it gave you a sense of foreboding. The Deleter is no substitute for the SAX. None! Not even close! You suggest it is, sorry, you're a fucking moron! Oh no! Anthony! He's fighting Redogian! Anthony! Oh, if only I had access to the grapple beam. Too bad Samus doesn't have initiative to authorize it herself. Samus, use of the grapple beam is authorized. So you're telling me. <laughs> Get to Anthony and cover it. Yeah, thank you, Adam. I couldn't. I totally couldn't expect that. Anyways, you're telling me. That if, if Samus had not been authorized to use her grapple beam right there, that she would have literally let Anthony get killed by the Redogian? You're, you're telling me that, huh? Does her stupidity in this game know no fucking bounds? I mean, thank Christ. Why are you not, like, staying red for very long? Why is it, Do I have to be further away? Like, what? Anyways... I bear in mind that I just shot through Anthony, so I'm going to assume that if I had somehow hacked the power bombs, that it would do no damage whatsoever to Anthony. Anyways, yeah, th this fucking Redogian is a prick. He doesn't go away. He he's not, he's not a very unique looking enemy. He, uh, he doesn't look that much different from the pirates who. Well, that was a bit of an overreaction. But yeah, would Samus have literally just sat there and watched Ad and, 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 uh, sorry, Anthony die if the grapple beam weren't authorized? She would have taken no initiative to do it herself. And, and he's still smiling. Whew. That was ugly. To the very end Princess. of the big jolly black so man who cannot get this smile oh, off his face. The commander gave us a new directive to move as a unit. Our gather point was a navigation booth near here, but when no one showed... Hey, I guess what? Nobody in their right That's mind would show up to a navigation saw. booth for a, 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 a Boy Scout meeting. I'm tracking that monster. We were heading to the geothermal power plant to open the magma eruption port. Gotta restore the power in this place so I can see that pretty face of yours. Sexist! Sexist! It seemed a little excessive. No, he's just he flirting. Unit to do it, but he's the commander. One thing you didn't know about me, princess, is that I'm the game's resident playboy. So, Samus. How you feeling about the commander, huh? 
I, I can just imagine that during this very grim flashback, he's got that smile just plastered on his face the whole fucking time. What the hell is this? Have I stumbled across a far superior science fiction medium? We totally didn't steal this intergalactic camera angle from a far superior Star Wars Episode 4. Ian, be careful out there. I know this is a routine fix, but don't let your guard down. There were 300 people on board. They're live. Again, listen to the music that's playing right now. I'm not going to put another, uh, like, alternate soundtrack over this. The orchestral score, it, it, it works for movies. I hate to tell you. Games are not fucking movies. Stop trying to make our games into fucking movies. At least with Metal Gear, it gave you the option to skip this shit. Let me skip. Someone help. Send help. Help. But I can't skip. Adam, I can reach him. Give me the order, please. Lock and secure the shielding doors now. Skip. Wait. There's still time. I can make it. Please let me go. I mean... Ian, that's your little brother out there. This is the certain incident? Oh no, not Ian. Let me go. You have to trust me. Just give me a chance. Commence drive unit disposal immediately. No, not Ian. Ian's dead. We hardly knew him. Oh wait, we didn't know him. You see, the, the game is trying to make you attach to these characters when they die, but, you know, just throwing characters in. There is no effort to make you attach to them. There's no effort to give them any personality. Even in a flashback, there was a character introduced for no other purpose but for Death Fodder. Now, mind you, it was designed to make Adam seem like this character who... Who makes the hard decisions, you know. He, he makes the hard decisions and he, he's got the great military, that perfect military mind. But this is the incident that drew Samus and Adam apart? I was childish. No one should have to make the choice that Adam did. And yet all I could do was question his authority and make things more difficult. I questioned his authority this entire game, Samus, trust me. I don't feel... Like, Look, <laughs> an attached, <laughs> dependent fucking woman as I'm playing, though. Man. My god, he's not smiling. If something like that happened now? If something happened like that now? Huh? Uh, the that game couldn't possibly even attempt subtle foreshadowing. I knew the question. It just slaps you in the face. Well, there's gonna be another incident that... Uh, Adam, another if something like that difficult happened, decision that Adam's gonna have to make. I would hold fast Piss and off! Of hope and try for redemption. That's who I am. <laughs> Samus, who you are obviously is a very fluid concept right now because who you are is completely different from what any of us had expected you. It's not, you know, being emotional. Or emotionless, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. It's being completely inept, dependent, and stupid. She sat there and waited for Adam to give the authorization to use the fucking grapple beam to help one of her best friends not get turned into fucking lava crisp by Radogian. Now, we have three ways we can go. We can power bomb, we can super missile, or we can go down the door. Now, given that neither super missiles nor power bombs are authorized, and there's no point whatsoever in fucking backtracking, uh, the way forward is pretty clear. I hate this game. Like I said before, I, there is no purpose to introducing these items, as is the case with many of Metroid games, because at the very least, if you want to backtrack, backtracking is sometimes a choice in Metroid. Like I said, you know, people say that backtracking is a staple in Metroid, but it's not done right here. Like, when you go to a new area, again, in Fendrana Drifts, you make the first visit to Magmore Caverns via Chozo Ruins. And I got another one of these fucking 
whatever these things are. Lava men. You make the first trip to Fendrana through Magmore Caverns by means of Chozo Ruins. And then you find another way out of Magmore on your way back that takes you to Talon Overworld. New passages, new discoveries, new things you can do. It's not always the same route every fucking time. And it sure as fuck doesn't send you in circles. In circles for no other reason but to pad the game length. Okay, maybe it does in Metroid Prime 2 to, to take you... But at least then it, it allows you to use the light suit, which is a new upgrade, to explore areas that you hadn't been in before. But for God's sake... and I'm no big fan of Metroid Fusion, but for people to say that Fusion is a worse game than this, oh, I, I don't know what you're smoking... Uh, and if I were a user, I would definitely want some, but whatever. Oh, it's all opinion-based land. Well, you can take your shitty... You heard the soundtrack during the cutscene. And this is so not a boss arena. But you heard the soundtrack during a cutscene. It was, you know, orchestral. It was trying to sound cinematic. And oh my god, he's eating the gravel point! That sure as fuck won't be... It, it, and how in god's name did the firefish get in here? This is, there's no way in, no way out, unless you just dove down from a, how the fuck did this thing get in here? It was in the main area before. Is all of the area under the magma interconnected and you could like swim underneath it? Is there like an under lava path, like water? I don't know. Wouldn't the lava fucking just eat through this area to begin with? Like, how do you put lava onto a ship? I know, science fiction, but I don't give a shit. I want to know, how do you put lava on a ship? <sighs> Anyways. Uh, again, at least with Metal Gear, you could skip the fucking cutscene on your first playthrough if you didn't give a shit. Oh, no. So, we're gonna fight totally not Chica. Um, I, can't, I really get a Chica vibe from this boss. But, what the fuck is this thing's name? Vorash or. And as if to. As if it didn't build up the fact that the thing had a, a grapple point in its mouth by the fact that it swallowed it to begin with. Now it has to have a little cutscene and now it's time to go fishing! Oh my god! And I have to wonder, like, why do I get like a free willy vibe from this boss? I really do. Okay, sometimes he'll keep his head above water and open his mouth sometimes he won't but now he will and that grapple beam going fishing yep I mean the game tries with this particular boss and I'm not gonna complain because this boss is handled okay um it's the only boss in this game with any significant buildup you remember this is the thing that chased us when we were doing the hell run the first time It's sneezing lava at me. Anyways. Pull the thing up. Dun, 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 dun. Free Willy sucks so much. Okay, maybe I just shat on everybody's childhood. Oh no, he swallowed it. It's a shame that Sense Move is so going to make this an easy fucking boss anyway. And Auto Target really makes it easy too, but... Take that, you fuck. I don't feel any satisfaction when I kill these things. And why the fuck does the lava lower? Why does the lava lower when you kill the fish? 
I don't understand it. I, I know it happens a lot in games, but... Uh, whatever. What the fuck ever, game. I hope you're all enjoying yourselves so far, cause... Oh, piss off. It looks like that monster is headed to the geothermal electric power generator. The geothermal electric power generator? Oh, no! I hate this fucking sector so much. So, uh, yeah, I guess this is a good stopping point. There's, there's still a lot that I'd like to do, but I am way fucking far away from the geothermal power plant. And how the fuck is, like... Is this place, like, running off of backup power because we have to turn the power back on? Correct me if I'm wrong, but was it, like, a backup power generator or something that I turned on at the start of the game? What's going to happen when I turn the whole power back on to this place? What? Why do we have to turn the power back on? Explain to me, game! You're gonna throw in a fucking deleter. A fucking deleter. Anyways, um... Guys, this is frustrating as fuck. I'll, I'll see you on the next episode of Metroid Other M. This, this fucking game. That was probably one of the more unique boss fights in this game. I mean, it had... Samus is fishing for a boss with the grapple beam. It's... It's okay. I'm not gonna say it's not done poorly. But you're fighting a giant lava fish. And you can't even fucking backtrack. It's like every navigation booth locks the door behind you and your only direction to go is forward. Plot railroading at its finest. I hate this fucking game and all of you should as well. But then again, for those of you who, who, who for some reason consider this a very guilty pleasure, I will accept you liking this game as long as you admit that it is a guilty pleasure. Because there is a lot that's fucked up with it. If, if you love it blindly and you're trying to defend this shit from me... Ah, oh, fuck off. Have a good night, everybody!